So rucaparib is a PARP inhibitor that's licensed uh, for uh, maintenance therapy in patients with a high grade ovarian cancer that's responded to platinum-based chemotherapy um, and is used quite uh, widely uh, both through Europe and North America. The trial was first presented at ESMO in 2017 um, and here we have presented an updated analysis uh, looking at patients who entered a partial or complete response after the chemotherapy phase before they entered the maintenance phase with rucaparib or placebo. Because many patients with recurrent ovarian cancer who undergo chemotherapy respond but don't have a complete response and are left with residual tumour by the time they start a PARP inhibitor. And what we showed in this supplementary analysis was the effect of rucaparib was similar in patients who had a complete response or a partial response. So both groups of patients benefited to a similar degree. In absolute terms, the progression-free survival was greater in those who had a complete response before rucaparib, um, but the uh, magnitude of the response in terms of the hazard ratios was similar uh, across both groups. The other point that came out of this analysis was that a proportion of patients who entered the trial of rucaparib or placebo had measurable disease at the end of chemotherapy. And what we could see was that in patients on rucaparib, there was a response in many of these patients, a further response, if you like, to the PARP inhibitor uh, uh, while they were on the maintenance, which I think underscores the importance of maintenance therapy, not only to maintain the response, but also to deepen the response. Uh, and in fact, in the BRCA uh, population, there was a 37% response rate uh, just on uh, the maintenance elaborate phase of the trial. So we have now a considerable experience of use of rucaparib, um, both from the maintenance uh, trials, the, particularly the Aerial 3 trial, uh, but also uh, treatment with monotherapy in patients with a BRCA mutated ovarian cancer. And this is really an amalgamation of two key studies, Aerial 2 and Study 10, that led to the licensing of monotherapy with rucaparib in patients with a BRCA mutation. Um, putting all the safety data together, we can see that this drug is uh, in the main very well tolerated. Uh, the key side effects of fatigue, uh, nausea and anemia are manageable in most patients. There are patients who do need a dose reduction and a few patients have to discontinue because of toxicity. But by and large, whether it's in the treatment setting or the maintenance setting, patient, patients are able to tolerate uh, this drug for a prolonged period.